it's me, the Auntie Beauty Queen, and you're probably thinking why I look like this. Why I'm doing my thousand subscribe thank you video looking like this. I am feeling under the weather. I feel like bullshit. Actual bulls shit. I do not feel good, but I need to come on here and express to you guys how much I'm giving you virtual hugs right now. Like, look at my arms right now. I'm giving you a virtual hug. This is me giving you guys love and kisses because I have reached a thousand subscribers, guys. I can't even, I don't even know what to do. My head is about to explode because I'm just so friggin' thankful for all of you guys and I don't know how to say thank you without making a fool out of myself. So because I'm feeling under the weather and because I went driving the other day and tried to put lipstick on my face without a mirror and then obviously I look like the Joker, it just dawned on me it needs to be done. The no mirror makeup challenge. So that is why I'm coming to you guys with not a stitch of makeup but I've got it all right in here. And I'm going to do the No Mirror Makeup Challenge in a way to say thank you for all of the amazing subscribers. And if you can hear cars, dogs barking, babies crying, werewolves howling at the moon, it's because I'm filming with the window open. Because it's raining and I love the rain and I love hearing the rain. So I thought I'd put a little ambient sound in the background. So without further ado guys, here is my No Mirror Makeup Challenge. So what I always do when I'm about to put on my makeup is I put on some foundation and you guys have been noticing lately that I'm looking extra tan and that's because I put bronzing powder in this foundation that I have. It's the clean makeup from CoverGirl and I do that because I am cheap and I hate going out and buying expensive foundations in the summer because I rarely wear it because I sweat it off in like 33 seconds but I do however need a darker foundation and I usually if I had a mirror would be able to blend this to a T but because I don't and I'm just going off of my pure instincts hopefully I'm doing an amazing job. I will say though that CoverGirl's makeup is runny as shit. Okay, hopefully I've blended it in like enough that I don't look like a clown right now. How'd I do? So next I go in and I always set my foundation and I'm using this really cheap as balls pressed powder. It's from Essence and this stuff is like the best makeup to buy if you're literally no money in the bank. This pressed powder was I think like $1.30 and Essence is a drugstore brand but some of their stuff is like really good. I like their eyeshadows and I usually wear this in the summer because it has like a nice little shimmer to it but right now I feel like it's gonna be a thousand times more obnoxious because I can't see anything and I always use this to make myself look even extra tan in the summer because I'm a vampire and I hate going outside, but here we go. Hopefully I did the trick. All of this stuff that I'm using is drugstore. I think the majority of it except for one or two things. And you guys wanted me to do a drugstore makeup tutorial, so really I'm like killing two birds with one stone because my bronzer is from the NYC collection that you can get at Walmart for like literally 33 cents. And to be honest, I have higher end um, bronzers and this stuff's like my favorite because it's so unnatural looking that it just kind of like works with my skin tone in the summertime because I'm pale as balls in the, in the winter and I'm pretty damn tanned in the summer. So hopefully this is working. I'm not using the mirror, I swear on my lap I'm not using the mirror. And I'm going in and I'm like trying to contour right now <laughs> my face but <laughs> I really don't think this is working out the greatest so let's see if I can contour my cheeks without looking okay oh my gosh this is gonna look so magnificent and I don't even know where to look do I look in the camera at you guys or do I look off in the distance because I'm so like weirded out right now see and this is like the best thing to do when you're chubby is to take a whole shit ton of bronzer and bronze the hell out of your chin because then it just gives the illusion that you're like 30 pounds lighter because you actually have a defined chin and neck which we don't let's be honest but this sometimes helps it probably not right now I'm probably making myself look like I have a beard 
Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make myself look a little pinched. And I'm gonna go in with the most obnoxious color blush that I can find. It is one of my favorites right now, but I would have a mirror to look, you know, to blend it in. But today I don't, so why not make it even more obnoxious? And this is the Revlon uh, Flushed in 200. It is one shade lighter than a circus clown, so this is gonna turn out perfect. I can just tell. Let's like, don't even know where my cheeks are. Okay, wait. Right there, right there. Okay. Ugh, I hate when beauty gurus do these videos and their makeup looks literally better than what I can do with a mirror because that just means it's like unnatural. No one can do their makeup that well, no one. So, you know, maybe I won't look as bad as most people, but with my ability to put on makeup, I'll probably be the worst here on the YouTube channels. All right, now it's time for my favorite. A little bit of highlight. This is probably the most expensive thing that I'm gonna even pull out. This is the Clinique Uplighting Illuminator. I really hope this works. This stuff is amazing and I'm gonna butcher it because I can't even, okay, that's where I would highlight right there, so. Let's just go in and do that and try to blend it out. Like this product is amazing. It's it, more expensive than my house, but it does work when you can do it properly. <laughs> so right there. And then I would do the bridge of my nose, obviously. <laughs> obviously. I feel like I'm talking to like myself, which I kind of am. But I feel like you guys at home should know exactly what I do in the day, in my day. Did I blend it out even remotely? Did I? So this is what I would have been dreading the most. And it is my eyebrows. Because I can't do my eyebrows on a good day. So for me to do my eyebrows without a mirror in sight, this is going to turn horrible. Um, I'm using the Instant Brow from Benefit. And let's see here. Have I ever even come on YouTube without my brows filled in? Probably not. But I have this like gaping, okay, story time, story time. I have this gaping hole in my eyebrow, right, I think here-ish, because the lady who did my eyebrows, she was either playing a cruel joke or she should not have been hired because she literally ripped out a piece of my eyebrow. So that was so cute. That's where it starts. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, there. There? Am I right? Like this video if I'm even close to where my eyebrow is. I want to go in with that high peak to make myself look like I'm always thinking. <laughs> okay, let's do the other one. Let's do the other one now, shall we? You want to go in with light brush strokes all over that eyebrow. Flawless. All right, so let's move on to eyes, shall we? All I do is I'll put this underneath my brows wherever they may be. Oh God, broke it. And then I sweep this all over my eyeballs. And because it is summer, can't forget that bronze color. So let's just go ahead and put some bronze right on the, on the old eyelid right there. When I get nervous, I talk in a southern accent. We all know this. It's no mystery. Does anyone want me to do like an accent tag? Like I can be really offensive and try to do accents for you guys because sometimes I feel like I can bust out some pretty good like impersonations of people's dialect and I would love to share it for you guys. <laughs> Because, you know, that's all I'm good for. Mocking people's voices. Now will be the most dangerous portion of this video. Eyeliner. Because if you watched my I did Sugar Bears makeup, I can't put on eyeliner at the best of times. And I did his makeup flawless. So go check that video out. And so, so we all know my ability to put on eyeliner. And have I had toothpaste on my face this entire time? Let's hope. Um, okay, so here we go. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna need to go to the doctors because I'm gonna put eyeliner in my iris and that is super safe. Oh my god, why am I so nervous? Okay, here we go. Oh! Why am I so nervous? Oh! I can't do it! I can't do it. Okay, 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 okay. Woosa. Oh. 
Oh. Let's even go even further with this makeup look and let's put in a nice winged cat eye, shall we? Let's do it. Oh, oh my god, there it is. There's my eyeball. Oh, I can already feel that I'm gonna be so pretty today. And I have to go and visit my grandmother because it's her birthday. And I just know I'm gonna look so beautiful for her. She's gonna say, what have you been doing with your life? Because your makeup screams sophistication and class. Okay, there's my winged eyeliner. Does it look like I'm ready to take on the world today? Probably, probably. All right, so now it's time to pull the whole look together with a little bit of mascara. This I know I can do, I can do this. I know I can do mascara without a mirror because I've done it all my life. Like driving in a car, super safe, when you're at school and you didn't have a locker mirror. Because I have no eyelashes whatsoever. It's like they got singed off when I was a baby and they just never grew back. But I feel like I can do my mascara without a mirror. Is it working? How do I look, guys? So for the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on the most subtle lip color in my whole lip collection. Sephora's Bubblegum Luster Matte Lip Gloss. This stuff just screams business chic, doesn't it? Oh, oh my god. Couldn't even get it in my mouth. This stuff goes on like a mint. Now you don't want to put too much on because you just want to get the little bottom lip and rub it together. I can already tell that this is going to be so fantastic. There we go guys! So now I'm going to actually look at the viewfinder and see what I've created. <laughs> guys, I didn't even do that bad of a job. I think that my eyebrows are pretty on point. And can I just tell you that my eyeliner, you could see anyone in like New York wear. I mean, come on. I feel like I'm starting a trend right now. Like half of a winged eyeliner, but more of a Hitler mustache on my eyelid. And then like a super like space cadet looking winged tip right there. So really, like I feel like this could actually work. Did I blend in my makeup? Yeah, and look at my nice little highlight right there. Like guys, I didn't do that bad of a job. I didn't, I didn't. So to give you guys even a closer look, like look at this. I look like a sad clown. Look at that face. But really, like, I feel like I could take this and work with it. <laughs> Go places with this look. This is what I'm doing for you guys to show you guys that I love you. <laughs> that I'm so thankful for a thousand subscribers because I don't know what screams a better thank you. Me humiliating myself on the internet. So I'm gonna take this look and I'm gonna go take out my grandmother for brunch and let's count how many stairs I get. All right guys, so that is my video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And like I said, let me know in the comments below if I look like a beauty queen. And again guys, I just wanna say thank you to a thousand of you guys who subscribe to my video. When I put my first video up here on the internet, I was just doing it because I was bored. I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would have you guys actually watching and subscribing and commenting and liking and doing all that fun stuff. But I'm just saying thank you because without you guys, again, I'd be doing these videos for my parents and my family. And that's just sad. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you want to join the anti-movement, this is what you can expect. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to follow me all over the internet, my username is Queen, And you can follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you on the flippy flop. Bye.